It is viciously efficient. Every 90 minutes, someone is diagnosed with ALS in the U.S., and every 90 minutes, someone dies from it. Yeah, the progressive neurodegenerative disease affects military veterans at double the rate of civilians, one of the many factors that researchers are working to better understand. Former military veteran John Hartwell never imagined that serving his country could put him at a greater risk for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS. The disease progressively paralyzes its victims, attacking nerve cells and pathways in the brain or spinal cord. Basically, from my initial diagnosis, like being given a death threat or a death sentence, but not being able to appeal it. Dr. Ashok Verma, medical director of the ALS Center at the University of Miami, says the link between ALS and military veterans remains a mystery. We don't know what is the cause, what is the mechanism related to service that is linked to ALS development as the time goes by. Multiple studies have found evidence of the increased risk of ALS in military veterans, about twice the risk seen in the general population. The risk was higher regardless of the branch of service, service location, or service during war or peacetime. It's not clear what aspect of military life could be raising the risk, but the ALS Association says potential factors include exposure to lead, pesticides, or other toxins, use of tobacco or alcohol, or extreme physical exertion. Dr. Verma says that's why funding and research is so vital. It really needs to have a bigger effort, something like Manhattan Project, I mean, to have ALS cure. John's ALS is a slow progression form of the disease. He's lost the use of his arms and is now starting to have difficulty swallowing. He hopes clinical trials currently underway around the globe will provide a breakthrough for him and others suffering from ALS. There is a cure on the horizon on this. I do see that as high probability. There is so much research going on in so many different countries that, well, I'm just hoping to be around for it uh, to have some effect on me. Yeah, and speaking of the research, raising funds for research into this deadly disease is the key to developing new treatment options. Life expectancy is currently only two to five years after diagnosis. That can